Give us a call, 03444991000. Or you can uh, te- tweet us, we're at Talk Radio, uh, or you can uh, text us, so you write Talk and your message to 87222. And I am uh, re- uh, obliged to remind you that you can watch me now, live, because we're streaming on YouTube, uh, and I am wearing a jacket and a shirt, looking really, really smart, though I say so myself. And what that is there, folks, that's a bit of straight talking. And we're now going to talk to someone who is all about straight talking. He's written a book about it. Uh, it is uh, Keith Fraser. He's uh, the co-founder and pioneer of Jajones, which I think is Spanish for balls. Uh, and he's written a, about a Jajones code, uh, which uh, will help you uh, stand out, uh, be fearless, be bold enough uh, and audacious enough to grasp whatever it is you decide you want. Uh, welcome, Keith, to the show now. Hello, Keith. Hi, thanks for having me. How are you doing today? I'm all right. Uh, tell us about the Chachones uh, Code. You've written uh, the Chachones Ten Commandments, uh, but the basic uh, tenet of your book is be fearless, be bold enough to stand out, be audacious enough to grasp whatever it is you decide you want. What do you exactly mean by that? How should we go about our lives uh, if we're to live them by the Chachones Code? Well, you know, what can I say in a few minutes where I've got a book there sitting on your desk? I hope Cajonas Grow a Pair for Success. It's interesting because my wife was reading the book yesterday and she came across one of the quotes that I put in the book, which is, I think the reward for conformity is that everyone likes you except yourself. And that, to be That's honest good. with you, I like sums that. it up. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you have it, Kevin. I mean, look, at the end of the day, we live in a society, when we grow up, We are told what we can't do. Don't do that. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't say that. And I don't know if you've noticed, but everyone's very frustrated and angry out there. And that's why. Because people can't be themselves. We need to live more unapologetically, fearlessly and authentically in order to be happy with ourselves and happy in society. Now, this year has been a classic year of that. I'm sure you'd agree. We've had covid I would say to people, and I've been a culprit of this, you know, my whole life, as have many, one of the biggest resources we have is not money, it's time. Money comes and goes, time just goes. And this year has been a classic example with coronavirus, because we've just literally been sitting on our hands and just waiting for this thing to go away, wasting time. We've got to take back control of our lives when we get the opportunity and go for it and be satisfied that we've had a damn good go. And that's what this book's about. I mean, look, look at what's happened with Brexit, Kevin. Uh, Apparently, we're told it's getting back control. Well, what about getting back control of your own life, doing what you want to do, saying what you want to say and being what you want to be? Well, uh, your message is that if we heed your book's message, you will grow a pair. I hope that doesn't happen to your wife. <laughs> look, it's obviously metaphorical, but look, it's, and I've said it, I've said it before. I, I've had audiences and, and with women and said, listen, stand up and, and point to your cojones. And you'd be shocked at the amount of people who point down, down in this direction, downwards. I'm thinking, no, 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 it's a mindset. And at the end of the day, people, you know, people are frustrated with their lives. We are told nowadays it's getting even worse with treading on eggshells. You can't say that because you'll offend that one. Whatever happened to us, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. I'm saying you can live your life unapologetically, fearlessly, go for it, do what you want to do, be what you want to be, and say what you want to say. And what better time to do it after the COVID year we've had, and of course Brexit, which is all about taking back control. Take back control of your life. Now, uh, I admire the message in this book, Chachones Grow a Pair for Success, Uh, but... You know, you're talking about having the courage to stand out from the crowd, to take uh, an unorthodox view of something. So, for example, I uh, totally approve of the vaccine. I think it's going to be our, uh, hopefully, be our way out of this mess we're in right now. But suppose I was an anti-vaxxer and I stood up right now and said, I think the vaccine will do you tremendous damage and you shouldn't take it. Now, that will not put me in good stead, will it? That will make me uh, a national pariah. I'll be in big trouble. So for standing up and saying what I believe, uh, theoretically, I get myself in big trouble. We do not live in times that are tolerant enough uh, for us to follow your 
uh, message? Well, look, I'm not a scientist. At the end of the day, if the majority of the people, and I think the majority of the people would take the vaccine because they want to protect themselves and hopefully... Yeah, but I mean, it's, 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 the vac- it doesn't really matter that we chose, on the va- that chose the vaccine okay. as the subject, but I'm saying that I could say something that I might believe in, but is incredibly uh, unpopular, incredibly mm-hmm. unorthodox, and you say uh, that will make me feel a lot better about myself, but it'll get me in very big trouble. A, a lot of times, if you say exactly what you think, you could lose your job, you lose your livelihood, maybe lose your family. So just saying, say what you think, stand up for what you believe it's not that simple life is it i think it is that simple because i'm not saying go out and do you know damage going like a bull in a china shop i'm not saying go and offend people for the sake of it i'm saying if you've got something to say of course there are ways to dress it in order to be you know using softeners with linguistics you use that use softeners but if you have got something to say you want to get it off your chest you feel a lot better doing so and listen we live in a world where people have different different beliefs, different ideas, and surely it's all about accepting others' belie- uh, other people's beliefs. And of course, you will regret in twenty years' time what you didn't do. You won't regret so much what you did do, for good or for bad, because you've had a damn good go. But as I say, don't get me uh, don't get me wrong, Keith. Uh, I'm I'm with you all the way. I believe in plain yeah. speaking. I believe in people being able to say what they believe, even if it's unfashionable and unpopular. But uh, what's happened in this coronavirus crisis, in particular, is uh, essentially uh, we've lost a lot of our freedoms. And one of the freedoms at risk is freedom of speech. Uh, and if you stand up now in the way uh, this country operates, in terms of uh, mass approval or mass disapproval and you say the wrong thing uh you can lose your job you can lose your family you can lose your entire life so as i keep saying i just don't think it's e- as simple as just say what you believe and everything will be all right because that's not the case well that's not what i'm saying i'm saying i'm saying obviously you have to look at the risks one of the chapters in my book which you may have read is cojones icons people have done incredible things people who've been in, in business, people who've been in politics, people who've been in sport, people who've had the cojones to go out and do what they do best. And and one of them was Sarah Willingham, actually, from the Dragon's Den. And she nice. said, look, where the collateral damage is not too great, what have I got to lose? What's the worst that can happen? Of course, you're not going to go and take ridiculous, uncalculated risks in everything you do. That's not the message. The message is if you want to do something, okay, once you've done your homework, as, as one of my other cojones icons said, once you've done your homework, you will pass the exam and you will know whether it's a calculated risk or a bull in a china shop risk where you're going to lose everything. I'm not saying that. So you have to get the message correct and there has to be some balance. OK, uh, Keith, well, look, uh, uh, it's fa- interesting subject. Uh, it's got a lot of plaudits. Uh, to Alistair Campbell said it's a fascinating analysis of a vital subject. Barry Hearn, uh, the sports promoter, said this book is not for someone who is comfortable sitting on the fence. Well, I'm not comfortable sitting on the fence. Uh, and I admire you for your book. Uh, and I'm with you all the way. Uh, but these are difficult times. Well done, Keith. Uh, good luck with the book. Keith Fraser there, who has written a book called Grow uh, Cajones which is Spanish for balls, can you say that? Uh, Grow a pair for success. As I say, he said his wife read that book, and I hope she didn't grow a pair if he'd catch my drift. Uh, But uh, let's just take a quick call, shall we? 